Be warned, some of this is going to be disturbing. The images show this car speeding forward to plow right into the pedestrians, then backing up, hitting more people, and speeding away. Brennan Gilmore recorded it all on his phone and uploaded it to his Twitter account. And Brennan joins me now. Uh, Brennan, pretty horrifying thing to witness, that's for sure. Take us through what you saw. Uh, yes, absolutely terrifying uh, scene. I had, was filming actually uh, a peaceful, nonviolent march of anti racist protesters who were coming up a very narrow street. Um, I was in the middle of the street myself filming them and heard from behind me uh, the acceleration of a vehicle spun around uh, and saw the, the vehicle in question barreling down a very narrow uh, street with no traffic on it at a high rate of speed, clearly intent on doing damage uh, and destruction to the crowd. Uh, passed over uh, a barrier and went down the street and uh, accelerated hard as it barreled into the crowd, sending bodies flying. Oh, God. Uh, among the things you had publicly said yesterday via Twitter and elsewhere, let there be no confusion, this was deliberate terrorism. You stand by that? Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if, if the authorities here have used the word terrorism yet. I, there's a judicial process which will play out. Um, but it was clearly perpetrated uh, by one of these uh, racist Nazis who came to Charlottesville to spread their, their, their vile ideology. Uh, and he targeted this crowd very clearly. There's no question of anyone who witnessed it uh, that his intent was to cause a, a mass casualty incident. And it's a domestic terrorist incident as far as what I witnessed. And, and Brendan, you must have felt frightened for your own safety. I mean, what was that like being there? Uh, well, I mean, my immediate concern was to attend to the people who had gotten hit. A woman had collapsed right in front of me. Uh, so after I stopped filming, I, um, I gave her first aid best that mm. I could. The police were very quick uh, on the scene. First responders were on the scene quite quickly as well. Um, you know, but it was, a, it was a terrible situation. And my heart goes out to the family of, uh, frankly, a, a martyr on the side of the anti-racists uh, who gave her life uh, uh, fighting against uh, this, this hatred and, mm. and, uh, and, and racist ideology. You know, this wasn't the only scene that you recorded that was uh, horrible. You recorded fights breaking out in the crowd earlier in the day. So talk about police presence. What did you see in that regard? There's a heavy police presence around town. I think this was the largest deployment of police in the area. There were fights uh, around the central location before the state of emergency was declared. Um, I was uh, critical on, on Twitter about that, wondering why they didn't in intervene. But let me, let me be clear. I don't want to second guess the incredibly difficult job that the authorities had here yesterday uh, when a federal judge granted uh, permission to a group whose very existence is violent, is based uh, on a hate, uh, an ideology of hatred that wouldn't allow certain classes of people to have rights or to exist even. Uh, and, you know, this, the, the, the legal uh, authority let them come to a very compact, uh, tight part of town. Um, so, you know, the police had a, a very difficult job to do. Once the state of emergency was declared, they moved in very quick to disperse mm -hmm. these crowds. But these Nazis came to town with a very clear intent to cause harm. There's no question. They were, they were awash with uh, semi-automatic weapons, with shields, with helmets. Uh, they, they came here to spur violence, um, and, and that's what happened, and that's you what know, we saw. And frankly, with the amount of weapons on the street here in Charlottesville, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised and thankful that it wasn't much worse. Although, Brennan, you are on record as saying that you thought the police needed better training. Do you still stand by that in, in reflection today? Um, look, I think this is uh, something new for the police department here in Charlottesville. This is something new for a lot of us. And this, this you know, this is a wake up call to a lot of people who aren't woken up uh, to the type of violence that this race, racist ideology naturally leads to. You know, communities of color have been very uh, aware of the threats of this, uh, you know, for, for, for many, many years. But a lot of other Americans have to realize that the natural conclusion of this type of ideology is violence. All right, Brennan, uh, a very sobering conversation with you. Thank you very much, though, for sharing your thoughts and that video, horrifying as it was. Brennan Gilmore, stay safe. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.